Hey everybody, so I'm here with a review today and today I am reviewing a really exciting product. This is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. Oh, that's like a mouthful. Um, every time I say it I'm like, oh my gosh, it's such a mouthful. Um, but I really, really am excited to share with you this foundation. I actually picked it up about, I've been trying it out for about two months now. I picked it up at the VIB sale. Um, I usually, during the VIB sale, I like to pick out a really nice foundation. And because you get that 20, extra 20% 20 off, and I really think good foundations help with the rest of your makeup. And I also feel like they're really, really pricey, so it's hard for me to be like, oh, I really want to try that foundation. I really want to try a lot of foundations, but I don't want to, you know, spend the money. Um, but this one is a really, really interesting one, and I want to talk about it because um, I have a lot of opinions about it. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so this is the bottle that it comes in. It comes in like a plasticky container and then this thing kind of twists off. Um, I'm in the color Cashew, which I thought was a little too light for me, but um, it's actually working really, really well for my skin right now because I'm pretty pale. Um, I don't plan on self tanning till maybe the springtime um, after baby, if I have time when I have a child. Um, but I kind of just plan on having this as a really, really good foundation throughout the winter. Um, so I did go a little bit on the lighter side. Um, but this has so many claims and I've heard so many reviews and things like that that I was really, really curious. And um, so I'm gonna read you what it says on the back and then I'm gonna talk about it a little. So it says, this long wear oil-free makeup magically blurs imperfections for a smooth, seamless complexion. Lightweight and the color true, it offers buildable coverage with a natural matte finish. Perfect for all ages, all skin tones, and all skin types. Um, there's a lot of claims on here. Um, and it was very interesting for me to read reviews and read... Um, just see people using it um, with different skin types and things like that. And... I feel like this is a very awesome, awesome foundation. Like, I know, I know it's awesome, it's awesome. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. Um, but there are just so many uses for this foundation for so many different skin types. Um, I've seen a lot of people that are really oily use it. I've seen people that are really, really dry use it. Um, me, I'm a very dry skinned person. Um, so I was really nervous when it said matte finish. Um, I was like, ooh matte finish, but it does say natural matte finish. Um, I honestly think it gives a satin finish to the skin. Um, like I said, it's a very, it's a thin, thin fluid foundation. It's very thin. Um, and that's kind of what drew me to it because of the Bobbi Brown foundation. The Bobbi Brown skin foundation is like the end all be all for me. The only problem with that foundation is it doesn't last very long. And what drew me to this is that it had that consistency of the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, but it said it had long lasting powers to it. So I had to test it out. And um, after using it for about two months now, this is one of the lo most long wearing foundations I've ever tried, but yet one of the lightest weight foundations. Literally, I even think it might be more lightweight than the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. It is extremely lightweight. Um, it's a very, very thin in consistency, like I said. Um, it's very just watery almost, um, but the way it goes on your skin and just sticks and stays and sets really nicely is amazing. Like literally, I can go and go to work for like an eight and a half hour shift come home and have a 12 hour day and my skin still looks like as I just put the foundation on my skin. I can say there are very few foundations that can do that. Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation is not one of them. That one starts to wear at about, you know, five, six hours. It starts to wear a little bit, which is fine. It doesn't wear badly. It just kind of wears off. Um, this one, I literally will take a makeup wipe at the end of the day and it looks like I just put the foundation on my face. So I love the wear time. The wear time is absolutely amazing on this foundation. Um, another thing that I feel like, um, it says a matte finish, 
Um, I really think it does give that satin finish. I don't think it's a chalky matte. I think because it's so thin too, it just kind of gives a little bit of your natural skin peeking through. Um, so it doesn't look like a chalky matte makeup -y look on your face. It just gives a really just beautiful finish. I can't believe the beautiful finish on this. Um, on the bottle, it does say to shake it well, and I will show that in the demo how you have to like sit there and shake it for a while. Um, it's an oil-free makeup, but you definitely have to. There's there's some parts in here that you definitely have to shake um, because if you don't shake it, um, it will come out super watery and really awkward. Um, so you definitely have to shake it up a bit before you use it. Now the only downside, the only downside to this foundation is the packaging. It is awful. Like I so wish this came in different packaging. This is so messy. So I'm going to show you, and you'll see in the demo too, um, how you kind of pull this off. Um, it just kind of twists off. And as you can see, there is foundation all over and it just kind of squirts up and it keeps squirting. There's a ton of foundation in there. I just feel like I'm wasting so much product. Um, it just gets everywhere. Literally the first time I got it, it like exploded and like was like, poof, like exploded everywhere. It was awful. Um, so I hate that about this foundation. It's like the one thing that is awful about it because everything else is just beautiful. Um, I will explain in the demo too um, that there's different ways to use this foundation um, with your fingers, with a brush, with a beauty blender. In the demo I use a brush um, and it just blends so beautifully. Like it blends so easily. Like it it takes seconds and you'll see in the demo because it's a very quick demo um, that it just really just blends so quickly that it's like oh my gosh I'm I'm done with my makeup I'm done putting my foundation on because it's so quick and it just blends so seamlessly so um, I really like this foundation guys um, I think it's a great one um, if you're wanting to spend a little more money on a really good long-lasting but lightweight foundation um, I definitely say try it. I say it's definitely buildable. It can be up to medium to almost full coverage, um, but I definitely say medium. Um, definitely not lightweight at all, like a light coverage. I shouldn't say lightweight, light coverage, um, but it has that feeling of just like you have nothing on your face. So I love this foundation. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, and let's go ahead and get into the demo now. All right, so as you can see, I have um, some discoloration in my face, a lot of redness. Um, I have a lot of redness in my face always, I feel like. Um, I feel like it's gotten better over the years, but it's still, it's pretty red. Um, but like I said, I'm in the color Cashew, and um, it instructs you to shake it very, very well. Um, and honestly, the better you shake it, the better I feel like it comes out. So we're going to just sit here and shake it. Um, and I am going to apply it with a brush. Um, I've applied it all three ways. I've applied it with a beauty blender, I've applied it with my fingers, and then I've applied it with um, the brush. And um, honestly, it's great any way. It's honestly great if you use your fingers, if you use uh, the brush, or if you use a beauty blender. It just gives you different applications. So if you use it with your fingers, you're gonna get a much heavier coverage um, than if you use a beauty blender. The beauty blender gives you a very much lighter coverage. Um, I feel like this is a good happy medium, so that's why we're gonna use a brush today. And like I said, you gotta shake this thing. Otherwise, it like separates and it gets really weird when you squirt it out. Um, and this is an oil-free makeup, so it's pretty good. I, that I'm pretty impressed. So you twist open the cap here. This is the part that I hate, um, as I explained before, because as you can see, it just starts dripping out like crazy. Um, so I just kind of take the excess here. I try to keep it as clean as possible, but it's like the one thing I hate about this thing. So I'm just going to kind of dot some all over my face here. Um,
kind of, I wonder if you guys can see this. Hopefully it'll focus. There's a lot of foundation in this cap and that drives me bonkers. Again, the one reason this is, this is a messy foundation. It's just a messy foundation. It's the one thing I dislike about it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm using the Sedona Lace um, 520. It's like an angle top. And than really that chalky matte finish. So this is one layer of the foundation and I'm gonna go ahead, put some concealer on, the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Okay, so that is it for the demo and I just wanted to kind of show with some makeup on what it looks like. You obviously saw it beforehand, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a closer look now. Um, it just is so beautiful on the skin and I cannot believe how long lasting it is for how lightweight it is. Um, that usually doesn't go. It's usually a heavier foundations tend to last longer um, than lighter weight ones because they just are lighter weight, they're thinner and they wear easily. Not this baby, this is amazing. Um, so I really, really like it. I think it's a great foundation to try out. If you were curious about it, go for it, honestly it will be worth your money um, because it's truly a great foundation. All right, so that is it for my review. If you have any questions about the foundation or anything else about this video, I definitely leave it down below in the comments. I will be happy to answer them for you. And if you have any video requests, leave them down below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.